It's a case of he said, he said between Elton John and Russians, uh, Russia's president. ABC's David Wright is here with that story for us. Good morning, David. Good morning, Robin. Pop stars and politicians. The more unlikely the matchup, the bigger the potential for news. So this one, Elton and Putin. Well, I think it's right up there with uh, Bono and George W. Bush, maybe even with Elvis and Nixon. Too good to be true in this case, though. Sadly, there will be no photo op. The King of Bling, who has long championed the cause of gay rights. The piano man now making a stand against the often shirtless, seemingly humorless Russian president. I'd love to sit down with him and talk to him. Um, it's probably pie in the sky, but unless you try. On the BBC this weekend, Elton John proposed a summit with Vladimir Putin. Like Nixon in China, or maybe more like Dennis Rodman in Pyongyang, positioning himself as a most unlikely ambassador. And you would say to him what? I said, come on, you know, this is not, you know, gay people are not the problem here. They are not the problem of the world. Then, Monday, Sir Elton posted a note on Instagram thanking Putin for calling him back and saying, I look forward to meeting with you face to face to discuss LGBT equality in Russia. Maybe Putin has a soft spot for music. He's a piano man himself. Alas, Monday, a Kremlin spokesman denied Putin ever actually called, chiding Elton John for distracting him with such an irrelevant topic. For now, it seems Sir Elton may have been seeing the world through rose-colored glasses. So it is goodbye, Yellow Brick Road to the oh. summit. <laughs> I had to do it. Thank you. The question now, who did call Elton John? And was he punked? Mm, wow. Oh, You've been standing too that, close huh? to Lara there with those puns. <laughs> <laughs> it's contagious. It's contagious. Thank you, David.